So happy new year, happy holidays to all you guys. But most importantly, what's coming up in just two days is motherfucking MAGFest, the best convention ever. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, this is a huge convention that I do. Like I said, it's four days. It's the Music and Gaming Festival. It's absolutely amazing. They have a giant free play arcade. There's 20,000 amazing people that come there. There's an incredible selection of vendors, performers, guests. It's, it's the most amazing convention. Now, I stop doing shows for the year around Halloween just to get ready for this show. That's how seriously I take it. And every year I always post an album of everything that I've been working on. So I will be posting an album of photos of everything with that, but I also wanted to share a video with you guys of everything that I did. So let's take a look. All right, so this is the hallway where I hang all of my paintings. And as you can see, it's pretty damn full all the way to the end of the hall there. Sorry for the uh, crap lane at the end there. We've been busy. so. Let's get started with the small pieces. Can't go wrong with uh, Mega Man 1-Up, and you got Firebrand there, and Flying Kirby. You got Jumpman, Simon Belmont, of course, can't go wrong with Samus, and a PAL block. Of course, you got to have the classic Super Mario Brothers, and another classic, Pac-Man. Coming down, Flying P-Wing Mario, Alex doing a jump kick from River City Ransom, and you got Arthur from Ghosts and Goblins doing a little jump there and another Kirby showing off his sword and my favorite my boy Ness from Earthbound and here I wanted to mix it up a little bit make it a little bit weirder and we got the protagonist from Guardian Legend that is a fantastic game if you guys have never played it we got another classic coming down here some balloon fight and of course what everybody always looks for is Mega Man and we got Sans from Undertale a flying shy guy from Super Mario World 2 Always got to have a Pokemon piece in there, so this year I mixed it up. I didn't do a single Pokemon. I did Ash and Pikachu following him from Pokemon Yellow. And I think you guys have seen this before if you watch my channel. I did a speed painting of this of Simon throwing the holy water from Castlevania 2. Got a classic Cutman and the Warrior from Final Fantasy. Now coming down here for the bigger ones to start off, King Day Day Day. Can never go wrong with him. Next one is Scrooge. This is from the end of DuckTales 2, I believe, and these pixels are a little bit smaller. I usually use half centimeter, and these are eighth inch pixels, so it's very challenging to do that, but it's very rewarding because everything just looks so clean. Next, got uh, the first Tetris piece that I have ever done, so we got that blue piece coming up next. Of course, got to have Mario running away from the Phantom Mask, stealing the key, and if we hear a jingle, there's Cloud right there. Of course, buddy, you got to make an appearance. Got to have a classic Mario on uh, Yoshi's back, giving the peace sign. And we got Alice and Billy Lee from uh, Double Dragon 2. Of course, can't go wrong with Shovel Knight. And always, always got to have a Turtles piece so right there. So these are the four from the original uh, Overworld from the original Ninja Turtles game, which I've been playing that a lot, and it is a really underrated game. A lot of people give it a lot of shit. It's fantastic. Next, you got Mike Tyson, of course, got to have a Mike Tyson piece. And, of course, Jason. I love the Friday the 13th game. It's another underrated game. And you got the uh, classic uh, Pit fighting uh, two of his eyeball monsters. And we're going to move on to uh, some of the bigger pieces. You can kind of see uh, how I did my progress here, that uh, I moved on to some bigger pieces before I went back to doing some 8x8s because I had some there, and then moved on to these. So we got Alucard from Symphony of the Night. I did a recoloring job on this just to make it more conducive for a painting. And I've said in the previous videos that uh, I'm not really a fan of Metroidvania games. Kind of changed my mind about that. I really, really like Symphony of the Night. It's amazing. Of course, coming down here, we have uh, Mega Man falling through one of the revisited levels from uh, Mega Man 3, uh, going right past those spikes. Coming up here is another uh, eighth inch pixel piece of Proto Man. This one I had in another video too, I think about half complete, and this took way longer than I thought it would have, and I'm really happy with the way it came out. And underneath that is Robocop from the NES game. Not a good game, it's alright I guess, it's kind of fun, but I just like the way the sprites look. Uh, this was another one that I actually had in the Proto Man, uh, in the video where I had the Proto Man piece, that uh, it's the Mario Evolution, I believe that one was almost done too. And uh, coming down here, Link fighting his own shadow at the end of Zelda 2 and underneath that, 
We got Mario in the Karibo shoe, classic level of 5'3, uh, going over the munchers. And in this small piece here of Link getting the sword from the old man. Oh, and then we have two bigger pieces over here that I completely skipped. The Mega Man portrait that I did. This is from the intro of Mega Man 4, I believe. And then this is one piece that I wanted to do for a long time. This narrow piece of Mario just on the flag going down, 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 and there's the ground right there. So this is an 8x24 canvas. I love working in weirder sizes like that. So this is just one that I had the idea for probably about two years ago when I had this canvas laying around. So figured, why not? Let's bust it out for this year's MAGFest. Now moving on to some more 8x8s right here. Got to have classic Scrooge on the moon fighting one of those little octopus enemies. Got Link with the Triforce. Mario giving the double thumb, uh, double peace sign. Got him doing the peace sign over there and double one right here. Uh, Battletoads, level three turbo tunnel. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. I guess you could, but it's still uh, fun once you get it down. Got uh, Ryan showing off his butt right there in the infamous sauna scene from River City Ransom. Uh, this is the first time I've ever painted something from this. So this is the protagonist from uh, Adventures in the Magic Kingdom in the haunted house level. And of course, gotta have a Rescue Rangers piece. And this is another one that I did for the first time. Felix the Cat. Uh, Felix was always a cartoon that I liked growing up, and the NES game is a ton of fun. Unfortunately, it's gotten kind of expensive, but it's a lot of fun to play. Gotta have the classic Contra, Bill Riser going through the alien lair. And Ghostbusters from New Ghostbusters 2, the PAL release. Some Excitebike action going on. And the Mages from Final Fantasy. Now, I have some other ones up here, too that I would just want to show off. I've just seen, uh, shown pictures, so if, if you guys haven't seen this in person, this is a giant three foot by two foot of one of my favorite brawlers, Streets of Fucking Rage on the Genesis. I've been wanting to do this for years, and I probably did about 10 different layouts in Photoshop before I landed on one that I liked of getting uh, Blaze and Adam balanced correctly and having like the right amount of buildings back there with the right amount of color just so it looked like a really nice piece. So I am super happy with this one. I cannot wait to be showing this one off. And this is another one that I did. This was the last one that I finished right before I started digging into everything with MAGFest. And the classic Ninja Turtles character select screen from Turtles 2 on the NES. But uh, I went back, I added a second layer of color to this, kind of make it sort of, I guess, hybrid 8-bit, 16-bit. Just wanted to add a little bit more to that. And of course we have the classic one up here, you guys have probably seen this. This is uh, custom pixel art that I did of Nooks, my favorite character from Mad Max Fury Road. So, damn. That was a lot of stuff. I've been painting uh, every day, sometimes 8, 9, 10 hours a day, just to get all that stuff done. But I wouldn't change it for the world, I love what I do. So I cannot wait to see all you guys on January 4th when doors open, all of that will be on sale. Uh, like I say every year, also I don't do holds beforehand so please don't ask for that. I try to keep everything fair. So when doors open, everything will be for sale. I can't wait to see you guys then. And of course, thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you soon and keep it pixelated. A retro masterpiece. Earthbound's his favorite game. He's the original on the scene. He's a square painter. Square painter.